Listen, I ain't got time to be in shot up in the car. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday part of the vlog. I'm actually on my way out the door to go to the gym. When I get back, I have a haul that I wanna do. I purchased my candles for this year. I go ahead and purchase my candles, enough candles to last me to the next semi-annual sale. So I purchased my candles. They're all new scents that I've never smelled before. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those on camera with you guys and you know, see what they smell like. All right, guys. So today is actually Sunday. I know I never showed you guys the, the uh, candles. I'm still gonna add it to this vlog. I'm on my way into Target. I need something for my face. I don't know if you guys notice, but when you turn like a certain age, I feel like your face just become uh, like a little droopy or whatever. And I saw this tool that I was researching. I forgot the name of it. I'm gonna insert it. But I saw this tool being shown and um, how people use it to, you know, tighten their skin and they use it after like facials to, I'm gonna put the benefits in the screen. Going inside of Target to look for it because I, I saw that they sell it. And um, I don't know what else I may pick up. I just like walking around Target. It just makes me feel a certain type of way. So I'm bringing you guys along. guys i am done with targets you know what i forgot to tell you guys why i missed i missed i missed vlogging on thursday and friday was it thursday i think i yeah i missed vlogging on thursday and friday i still went to the gym on wednesday thursday i didn't go on friday something came up i didn't feel like vlogging and i didn't want to come on to fake the funk so I miss those days. Now I'm giving you guys this extra footage. It's not gonna be two extra days, but extra footage that I probably would have included in the vlog. Had I vlogged, the part wouldn't be in this vlog, but I did not find the tool that I was looking for. I'm back in all the way out. So I got other stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what I got when I get home. I am on my way to Ultra Beauty because I saw that they carry it, so I'm gonna see if I can get it from them. I 
As you guys can see, I am taking the back row to Orchard Beauty. It said it's gonna take me 25 minutes to get there, but I don't care. I don't have anything else to do today. Today is, in fact, 4th of July. I'm not, I didn't make any plans. I'm not grilling, I'm not going to a cookout. Nobody invited me. None of you guys invited me to your family cookout or anything like that, so stuff for myself it's just gonna happen and going to ultra beauty even though it's gonna take me 25 minutes it's just gonna happen um, i do need to go to the grocery store as well you guys i didn't tell you guys um what the ending weight was for this week and i'm about to tell you now i actually got down to like 178 I'm back at 180 like my weight is just I'm stuck at 180 and I'm used to being like in the 170s so now it's time to really at the next light turn right now it's time to really step up the game and change what I'm eating because clearly the stuff that I used to do to lose weight isn't working anymore the older you get the more you have to do so I'm going to start, you know, I think I'm going to be doing keto during the week. I watch Lydia Dinga and she she's not on keto because she, at the light turn right onto Shallowford Road Northeast. Listen, you are just rude, you know. But she does keto Monday through Friday and then on the weekends she eat what she wants. I think I'm just about to I got to do something because it's not it's not going down as fast as I want it to. And again, I know it's not a race or anything like that. It is a marathon or it's not- In 1.2 miles, turn left onto Dresden Drive. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon, but I still feel like I should, I should at least be dropping a pound every week. I should not be just stuck at 180. I've been stuck at 180 for two weeks now. So something gotta change and it's gonna have to be the food. So you guys can look forward to seeing some recipes that I put together, some cooking, not some cooking vlogs, but you you guys will see me put some little things together. Um, What else I wanted to talk about? Just talking. Oh yeah, lately I've been taking the back roads because the crime in Atlanta, like just driving in your car could be an issue. And majority of the time it's, it's on the highways, in the byways <laughs> and um i just take the back roads to avoid all that because listen i ain't got time to be getting shot up in a car for no dumb reason I, I don't know if it's the weather if it's quarantine they got people messed up in the head and feel like you know they need to do something and they're just angry but i don't need that type of energy in my life oh I don't need that type of energy in my life. So I just take the back rows, keep it cool. I feel good. Keep it simple. Oh yeah, you guys, by now you will have seen the- In one mile, turn left onto Peachtree Road Northeast. By now, you will have seen the wedding vlog. I, I've i been vlogging, but I haven't been keeping up with like the amount of footage that I have. I need to go home and edit. But by now, you will have seen the wedding vlog. What you guys think of it? Me and Jasmine got married. Congratulations to us, and thank you to everyone who congratulated us. Thank you to everyone who participated in our virtual wedding. You know, it wasn't ideal, but we made it happen. It is what it is. We're married now. Jasmine is actually in Korea and she has sent me some footage. I want to insert it in the vlog.
can see I had to put music over it. Jasmine is not gonna vlog like I do, but she says she will send this footage here and there for us to uh, watch and, you know, get a taste of South Korea. We want to make sure we thank Jasmine for our footage from South Korea down below in the comments, you guys, cause listen, at first home girl was not with it. She was like, nah, that ain't me, but she doing it for me cause she love me. So yeah, make sure you guys thank Jasmine down in the comments. And thank you, Jazz. got me some sunglasses out of Target. I didn't even look. My sunglasses that I have are all scratched up. And it's probably my fault because I don't put it in I don't put them in cases. But these are like really bad. I feel like the sun got to these. But yeah. I need some more. Which I have some that I could probably wear. But you know they fancy. I need me some regular looking sunglasses. I don't need no um let me show you guys the one that I have. I have some like this. Like, I want to put these on when I, you know, put on some clothes. Like, what I look like walking around in these all the time. Okay, you guys, I got the two. Now, <laughs> I was looking for something a little cheaper. The girl at the counter said that these are really good when I brought it up to her. I did see them online for cheaper. And this is the authentic one. It is called the Gusha or Gosha tool. Let's see, I'm gonna talk about the benefits before I leave the location. Okay, for short, it's called, I guess this is the brand skin gem i don't know if you guys can see it skin gem but it says that our skin gem hardy gusha 2 is specifically designed to massage along the natural contours of your face to help give your skin a natural glow what now i'm surprised i'm surprised that it's not mentioning the other benefits I'm gonna say it, cause they should offer more information about it. It's just talking about the properties of the crystal. It says to use on your skin, what well, use the skin tool over clean skin daily for three to five minutes for radiant skin. Make sure you apply a serum or an oil. And that's it. But anyway, this tool cost me Thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars. Um, with tax, it came up to thirty-four eighty-five. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But this is the authentic one. And yeah, we're gonna give it a try. It gives you the little picture here. Let me just make sure you guys, it tells you how to do it. Make sure you guys see that. So, this is what I was looking for. Now it's time to go grocery shopping. And then it's time to go home. I'm not even hungry. So, I'm not going to worry about cooking when I get home. But I will cook tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna add that a part of this vlog because I need to start editing. I gotta, I gotta put out a video tomorrow because I don't have one. So yeah, let's go grocery shop.
Hey guys, Richard Brittany here, editing Brittany here. So in this vlog, I'm currently editing this vlog right here. In this vlog, I said I was gonna drop a candle haul. You guys, I had the footage on my phone. Tell me why it's not there. Somehow I accidentally deleted it and I don't have it. I'm so sorry that I don't have it. I would refilm it, but I don't think that's authentic. Like pretending to open up a box again and smelling it for the first time. And like, it won't be my original thoughts. You get what I'm saying? So please forgive me. I'm so, so sorry. It's not gonna be filmed at all. Like I put the candles up and everything. So I'm gonna do something else maybe. Mm -hmm. 